and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Those Who Came, which is a new game. It's on Steam, and it's an early access, and full disclosure, I did receive my copy for free, and I will make sure that the uh, text at the bottom spells the word received correctly, um, because the one that I posted in my last video did not have it spelled correctly, because I was using an old card. So thank you to, uh, I think it was Alucard, someone. Anyway, shout out for pointing out my mistake. Oh. Oh yeah. But why? Without answers, we the Cybermen began a journey in search of a new planet, taking our science with us. Cool. And then what did they do? Did they go into cryogenic stasis? Is that the plan? Years have passed since the exodus. I awoke 70 years ago in the year of Wells Happily. I grew up in this ship to keep our powers and our science alive. Our future awaits us, and we can only write it together. Cool. Don't underestimate the radiation. It drains your life faster than it seems. Okay. Oh. Sure. What is this thing? Try putting this suit on. We've been working since we left. All right. We'll put this suit on. When you're ready. Oh, I can change the color. That's dope. You can. Oh, I see. That's cool. That's very cool. We go. Go full on pink. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Head. Oh, we get to pick a different head. That's a nice head. That's also cool. I don't know. We'll go with that one, I guess. Uh, Mr. Jacob seems good. Yep, we've customized our dude. Do you want to... Yes, I would like to discover them. Um, I'll guide you to meet the commander. So I'm Mr. Jacobs. So where, where are we going? Dr. Wilson, hello. Follow me. We're on our way. This game's giving me, um, oh, what happened there? All right. Use space bar to jump, so we're learning how to do stuff. Uh, how do we do that? What does that mean? Uh, magics? I don't... Oh, alright. I don't... I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, how do we... So we've got this suit and we can do some magic with it, I guess. Nope, that didn't work. That did not work at all. Alright. So I guess the idea is Oh, why is it why is it not working? I'm pressing the thing. Okay, why? Use elevators in the airy spell to reach the level. Elevators are failing since the last jump. There must be a way. Okay, so I'm pressing left click. I'm I'm holding left click and it's doing nothing. I don't I don't I don't know what that does. Okay. So I was able to float the one time. And now I and now I can no longer float. Uh, oh, there we go. I got it. I got it to go. 
get across. So it finally started working. I don't know why it started working. Right. So I don't know. Uh, is it supposed to... The only way to go. But I can go this way. Alright. So the, the floaty thing only works when it wants to work. Which is not often. Because I'm, I'm pressing the left click and it's not doing anything. That's alright. Ooh, we're flying through space. Hello, explorer. You are finally here. Follow me. I'll guide you to the training area. I can explain a little about the situation there. Sure. Where's the training area? It's a cool ship. I mean, wasn't that who we were supposed to be following? Okay. She just walked to the front. She did not go to towards the training area. Cool. So that sometimes works. The magic thing sometimes works. Can I can I go through here now? I cannot. All right, we're still. It's, it feels very buggy. The game feels very buggy. I'm just going to say that. Um, maybe this is a a thing. Are we supposed to be able to... What are we What are we meant to do here? Is it a little bit of parkour? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? No, I can't get the... I can't get the hovery thing to work. What is that doing? Wow, that is very buggy. I can't... I uh, nearly had it. I just need I need to be, I need to be able to hover a little bit better. Oh, uh, I nearly had it. Okay, I don't I don't know if this is the right way. Um I don't Yeah, I don't I don't know. All right. So this is the game is very buggy so far. Oh, there we go. So if we Oh, no. Yeah, if we jump, sometimes it works. It doesn't always work, though. It's the important thing. Did that, did that door open when I walked into it? It did not. So that door did open. I don't, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. Oh, we can float. Nice. Alright, um... Yeah, so it's got to be down this way, because this is the only way to go. But there doesn't seem to be, uh... I don't know, let's go, let's go look at the, uh, other controls. No, that's just... No. Language, audio, graphics. Okay, so, guide. Controls, here we go. Keyboard. Alright, so, interact is E... Suit skill is R, sure. Use spell, aim, move camera, play emote. Okay, so let's try suit skill and interact. No, that didn't work either. All right. Oh, we hit, we made it over using the uh, the floaty bit. That's so dumb. The floaty bit doesn't work all the time. It just doesn't. It doesn't work all the time. Um, I can I can show you guys. Here's me clicking the button that is supposed to be for the flo floaty bit. It does nothing. See, and I'm I'm pressing. There we go. I finally got it to work. I jumped and I pressed the button at the same time. Nope. So it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't always work. It just sometimes works. So when you have a thing that only sometimes works, it's pretty annoying to make it a main part of your game. I'm just saying. So far, I am fairly annoyed. See, it sometimes works. Many of the explorers have lost their connection with the essence. I hope you're not one of them. Come, we're almost there. Sure. I don't know. What are we supposed to... We have some issues. So what am I What am I meant to be doing here? 
Am I, what am I, am I equipping something? Uh, what does shade do? I guess we equip that. Right. So we got it to work at least. Get to the jointer energy whenever you're ready. Uh, alright. So what are we, what are we equipping? There we go. Alright, so we equipped the thing. Sure. Char charge energy and transfer it to the batteries. Aim to the target. Use skill. And when charged, release your power. So what are we, what are we aiming at? Where are we, where are we supposed to be doing this? Right. Uh, just talk with the commander. There are lots of things you need to be told yet. All right. Let's go talk to the commander, I guess. So the game is very buggy. Uh, what do you want to do now? Um, I don't. I don't understand. Learning the preset equipment. I don't. Missing. So what is this? We'll be able to interact with the plant, Solaris elements, and Toric navatives. Discover Solaris behavior at all. Also how it changes between day and night. Um, I don't know. Let's just, let's just do this one. Okay. I, I selected it. Then what do we do? So this is the market. Oh, oh right. Sure. <coughs> so this is my ship. Oh, that's cool. Searching crew. I don't know. I don't want to... Hold on. Am I, like... Am I pugging for a game? Um... <clears throat> okay. Um... Okay, so you have to have... Other people to play with to experience the game? I guess that's a... I guess that's a thing... So what is this? What are we crafting? Can't craft anything. We're crafting nothing. What's up here? What does this do? Nothing. All right, that does nothing. I guess let's do the only thing that we can do single player. Oh no, that's it. we have to find a crew as well. Uh, all right. Seems odd. So I guess we'll just wait and see if we can find a crew. I'd rather go explore the planet surface, so maybe we'll search that. Yeah, canceling searching crews. Yeah, let's go. Solaris expedition. So we're gonna do that, and I'll fast forward. <laughs> Looks like I found a crew. I guess. Or. Mr. Jacob's not ready. How do I. Ready. I'm ready. It's just me. One out of one. Excellent. So we're going exploring as a single player. I love it. Let's go. The, um, the game did say. The, uh, you know, the. The key that I got did say that it's better if you play with some friends. Unfortunately, that's not a reality for me because I play video games in the middle of the night after I come home from work. Um, and none of my friends are around. And also, like, they're not super high quality to listen to on a stream. So I definitely jam the single player stuff more. Oh, okay. 
All right, so we got like a little world here. Who's this guy? What's up, dude? Do you you don't you don't talk? So you just not very not very friendly, not the talkative type. Okay. What about you guys? Oop, what happened there? Uh, what is going on? Oh, my view changed. How do I... Oh, all right. How do I change my HUD? No, I want to... I want my... I'm, I'm up there. I want my view back. What happened to my... Move camera? I don't... Okay, so I'm just playing this first person now. All right. Hello. Why are you so much taller than me? I feel like... Oh, you don't exist. I see. That's the problem. Heavy, gravi heavy gravity uh, force 3.35 times. All right. So what's... What's the... No, that's nothing. So what's that? What's that big ball? That's weird. So this is like a ship here. Is this my ship? Ow. I got crushed by that ship because it's like floating up and down. That's weird. That big red ball is also a bit odd. All right. Oh, so the music stopped. I guess we're out in the, uh, we're out in the desert now. Um, yep. Okay. Ooh, there, is there stuff in that, is there stuff in that crate? Is that why it's glowing? So what do we, what did we get? We got, ooh, we got six scrap metal. Nice. We got sent out here to do some gathering and that is what we did. What is this? Let's do some gathering. What we, got? we got some spores. Okay. What is this? Looks fairly radioactive. Some old sap. Okay. Oh, we found some more spores producer things. So we're just going around gathering, I guess. Um... The first person point of view is not doing this game any favors, but uh, there doesn't seem to be a button to change it back. So this is what we're stuck with. And I guess we just float around. That's the, uh, that's the jam. Oh, there's some people out here. Cool. What are these? What are these things? Oh, we can walk into them. What's going on here? What's that? Cloud services products. Okay. We're just doing some exploring. So what are they? What's going on? What is even going on in here? What is this guy? All right. So I can like equip. Magics. Oh, nice. Um, all right. So we're just sort of... We're just sort of looking around. There's some lava. Oh, we, we're definitely uh, traversing some dangerous territory now. I mean, is it worth going to try and get the, the thing? I wonder what happens when you die. What is this big red ball thing? It's heavy gravity. So it's like crushing me. So are we out of it yet, or? Right, okay. Alert, suit tolerance. So this is the radiation. Right, and we can't. Oh, we're gonna fall into the lava, nice. Oh, we, ne we nearly fell into the lava, so we can't climb or anything. So we're just going to run along on the lava. That makes sense. Why would you not run along the lava? Totally, totally makes sense. Okay. So, let's go back into some protected areas. 
Is that... That stops the slowing, or that stops the destruction, I guess, but, um... If we, if we go here and suit up, does that... Does it regenerate our suit? Nice. It does. Okay, so going there regenerates the suit. So, airy upgrade. Spell improved, right. So it got better because we used it or something? Um, okay. So I reckon we... I reckon we might be able to make this. Maybe. Hey! Nicely done. We are unbelievable. Alright, but what are we doing over here is the question. So those big red balls are high gravity balls for whatever reason. For whatever in-universe reason they want to try and explain. Um... And we're just out here exploring. We're just finding stuff. Okay, that didn't work. Can we go up this hill? It doesn't like it. It doesn't want us going up that way. Okay, can we get out of here? Or are we stuck? I think I think we might have found a uh, a place that we got stuck in. Cool. Oh, I'm just trying to get to a spot where I can run, guys. Nope. Yeah, I managed to get out. Nice! I'm a genius. Alright. There we go. So, your skills go up, your spells or whatever go up, um, by using them. And we're just sort of... flying around. Doing stuff. Doing whatever we're doing. Exploring the world. Um, yeah, the game is pretty janky. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that the game is pretty janky, uh, but it's got a it's got a kind of endearing quality that I'm enjoying. You know, it's like uh, it's charming. So what is what is this? Low gravity force. Does that mean I should be able to, like, float better in there? Uh, does nothing. Oh, there's some glowing stuff. What is that? It's like a black hole or something. What is that? That's pretty cool. What are we gathering? Uh, okay. Well, we gathered whatever this stuff was. Um, sure, that makes sense. Whatever that was, we gathered it. And this is not a cave to explore, it's just... Ooh, so our airy upgrade is, uh... Quite a bit better. Okay. We're gonna be so good at floating around, it's gonna be like, what? Right. So we're about 24 minutes in. Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand what those dots are. That wasn't explained. Um, is this the way we came from? I, I like literally can't tell. Is there a map? There's there's not a map. Okay. But I feel like this is the way we came from. I just I can't tell. We're just floating around, we're running around, we're on this big ass map, and the map is reasonably interesting, but also, I don't know why any of it exists. So there's this big red ball of high gravity that we want to avoid, and a big blue ball of low gravity. Nice, that's pretty cool. I kind of like the low gravity. It's got a it's got a nice vibe to it. It's very chill. Yeah. I suppose that's an easy enough effect to do in video games, to have uh, high and low gravity. All right. Oh, there's lots of stuff to uh, pick up over here. So we obviously haven't been here before. So so far. The game, what just happened there? 
I don't know what just happened there. How did we get out of uh, first person mode? What are we gathering from this thing? Got some circuits. Okay. We'll get some more circuits. So we're just... We're on, a, we're on a bit of a gathering mission. Ooh, there's some more stuff to gather. I don't, I don't know what these little black hole looking things are, but uh, we're going to gather them for sure. They seem to make my magic better. Alright, let's pick whatever this is. So I still haven't figured out how to look in my inventory or anything. Pressing, oh, there we go. There's my inventory. So I said that, and of course I found it almost immediately. Um, we got no blueprints, though. So it doesn't matter how much stuff we gather, we can't build anything. We're just looking around at this point. Just looking around. All right, we got some pure metal ore. Nice. And we're just going to keep... We're just going to keep wandering around, so I might fast forward to, until we get some content that's not just uh, salvaging. I guess I sort of ran out of stuff to do. Let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. All right, Those Who Came is a non-combat based RPG game where teamwork is the key to enjoy a bracing experience. As the sign in, a strong and resilient civilization, you must explore and evolve inside a deadly and collapsing world. Developed by Rollbox Games and it came out on the 8th of October, so two days ago. Um, it's in early access, that's good because I feel like there's a lot of uh, work that really needs to be done with the game to make it solid and fun and, and playable. Um, Those Who Came is made by Game Changers challenging all RPG games. We believe that there are a lot of Game Changers willing for a non-combat style, a refreshing experience. Absolutely, there are tons of, there's tons of scope for games where you don't have to do combat. Yeah, it's, it doesn't, Disco Elysium, there's like almost no combat in that. There's a little bit, but even then, that's mostly decided by stats rather than, like, being twitchy and stuff. So, we are in early access since October 7th, 2021. Sure. Um, the game is really glitchy, and the controls are not tight. They don't always work when you click the buttons. Um, there's no explanation as to why. There also doesn't seem to be any uh, information on what I'm supposed to be doing. So I, I got the idea that I was supposed to be gathering stuff to craft things, but it says I need blueprints and I don't know, man, like there's just not a lot of reason to be doing anything. And there are some NPCs there, but I can't talk to any of them. They were just sort of standing around. Um, yeah. And there's like lava that I can just walk in. So I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Uh, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting, but. I don't think it's ready to rock yet. Uh, despite our best efforts, the game probably still has some bugs. Also, some mods mostly likely, most likely lack proper balancing. Sure. Um, we'll increase the final price of those who came. So it currently costs twenty-seven eighty-nine, which is a pretty steep price for a game that basically says you need to have friends to be able to play it. So if I want to play it with my friends. Both of us need to spend $27.89 to be able to play, which seems like a lot for a game that has this many bugs and is is this sort of unpolished. Um, there didn't seem to be anything to do or any reason to be doing anything. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is stuff to do, uh, but if there is, it's not explained in any way that makes it uh, reasonable for me to be able to do it. Yeah, the, the magic... 
or whatever the little the the magic things that you carry on your back that's fine except for um it doesn't always work i press the left click button it doesn't always work it was starting to work a little bit better but not because i was doing anything different i think it just had stopped glitching out because like during the tutorial i literally couldn't get it to hover you know it took me ages to get it to hover so then it's like a gathering crafting game without any sort of purpose behind it it makes it hard to like sink your teeth in and be really excited to play it I like in the, in their trailer they've got multiple people playing. That's cool. So obviously the development team is there playing it. Um, but I'm just not necessarily here for it, I guess. Uh, Those Who Came is a non-combat based RPG game where teamwork is the key. No, we already read that. Oh, excuse me. It's very late here. It's like uh, 12.30, a bit after midnight. So I'm just, I'm a little bit tired. So I apologize for that. And maybe that's the problem, maybe that's what's going on, but uh, I can say that I, I did try and give the game as much, you know, as much time. I played it for about 40 minutes, um, and I just, I, I couldn't find any content, I guess. You know, I like collected some stuff, but I don't, I don't know why I'm there or what I'm supposed to be doing. It just seems very empty. Um, it's a big crafted world with nothing to do. Um, yeah, so non-class defined RPG, equip different types of suits and mods, configuring your own class style in combination with the magics. Right, but why? What do I gain by upgrading? I don't, you, you know, I don't, I didn't see any reason to be wearing a different kind of suit. I guess there is like some Solaris uh, arenas or two versus two maybe it's like collectathons i don't know i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing but the game definitely does not explain it in a way that makes sense complete multiplayer experience always from a cooperative perspective play together exploring the surface in a pve environment or fight against other players at the arena so the game is defined as a non-combat rpg and then one of the very first things that you include is an arena where you can do combat so you're kind of going against your own grain there you're making your game a combat game when the point is to not have a combat game so then if you have combat in the game if you have like an arena then you have to have items and gear and equipment in the game that's designed for combat which makes the game a combat game not a non-combat game so you've kind of gone against yourself there craft awesome gear through materials or fragments players can create new suits and mods that will enhance the suits and magic capabilities uh, this is not only your story, but a global objective. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, I should go to bed. Um, find all your friends inside and heal Solaris. Gather your crew. Each map has its own characteristics, but crews will always be from two to seven players. Or one! Or one. So let's see. Um... So, when entering any game, the first thing I do is turn off music, voices, and all other sounds. I do not want to be presented with claims of copyright infringement. Sure. That seems like a weird thing to be talking about, but that's fine. The name of which I forgot. I don't... This is a big rant about putting videos on YouTube. I mean, just suck it up, dude. Like, people watching your videos, they want to be able to hear what the game's going to sound like. Um, I just do that. I like, I'll play a game and I'll put it up on YouTube. And like, even before I put it up there, I'm like, this is definitely going to get copyright, um, claimed by the, by the music owners. And then the music owners just take the ad revenue from my, um, from my videos. But since like, I don't get that much ad revenue, I actually don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I have to jump on rocks hanging in the air. You can fall into the abyss and below there's some kind of slurry or magma that looks dangerous to health. What? So this is a very, very weird review. That is a weird review of the game. He talked... Yeah, anyways. Feel free to read the rest of that review. Um, the lava doesn't actually hurt you. It didn't hurt me. Uh, you know, when I went too far away from the base camp, I started to, uh, take some damage, but, like, falling into the lava, there was a, there was an area where it was obviously lava and I fell in and it actually did, you know, it started to drain my, it did radiation damage or whatever, um, but then all the lava, I think, because I hit the edge of the map, I did find an invisible wall, 
When I found that invisible wall, the lava there didn't hurt me, so it must have been a different kind of lava. Maybe it was like cool lava rather than hot lava. I'm just, just spitballing here. Um, Rollbox Games says this is the first game, only game. And look, it, this might end up being something really fun. It might be. It might end up being something really fun, but it's overpriced, it's underpolished, and it's not really ready to go. They've got a very cool opening cinematic. They've spent a lot of time on the opening cinematic. I will give them that. Um, and the opening little ship is cool, but then you get into the game proper and it seems very lacking. Uh, I know that there's like, I know there were missions. I didn't do one of the missions because it, you know, I thought I needed a crew, so I did the exploration and I did some of that and it was, it was okay. Uh, maybe I should have done some of the missions, but I, I think it's absurd to make a game like this and then expect people to have other people to play with. Um, yeah, yeah, there's like multiplayer games and then there's single player games and this like feels like it would just fall squarely in the single player game and then you would have multiplayer as an option. Um, I don't know, like there needs to be, the other game this reminded me of was Breath Edge that it, like sprung to my mind as I was playing this. It kind of felt like Breath Edge, you know, that I was exploring and scavenging and creating stuff. And that's a fully single player experience, but this seems, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to stop ranting about those who came because it's, it's just not ready to go. It's not ready to rock. Costs too much. It's not polished enough and you have to have other people to play with. And that's fine, except for that lots of people aren't going to have other people to play with, which is why um, it's now the 10th of October, I believe, and it's only got the one user review. It's because... Um, people don't want to spend 30 bucks on an early access game that's not ready to go that they then also have to get their friends to buy. You know, people don't hang out in groups of two to seven and buy uh, on spec indie games that kind of look and sound like this. I'm just saying, just roll that into your design principles for later um, that people just don't do that. So thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to the video and leave me a comment down below, all that kind of stuff. If you want to check out the game, click on the link in the description, and otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.